morning and welcome to Preparing to Survive and Thrive Homesteading channel with Charlie P. So what are we up today? Well, we're going to do some water glassing of some beautiful eggs. Yes, my neighbor gave them to me. Um, I don't have my chickens yet, but we're aiming for June. I think that's when we're supposed to be getting our chickens that are almost ready to start laying and then we're going to add peeps to them. But I'm going to kind of start out at a little bit advanced stage so I can start getting eggs right away. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating, but, but right now back to water glassing. Now I have went through all my old cookbooks, the settler cookbooks, and have not found where they actually say, well, this is how you're supposed to do this. And this is how you're supposed to do that. <sighs> so I've been through the internet searching, talking to other people and it was kind of, I got mixed reviews. Some say, well, you don't have to clean them. You can water them and you just have to oil them first. I saw where somebody said you keep them up for three days and somebody else said, no, they have to come right out. You have to have them within 24 hours. So I try to always have my eggs clean and not oil them, not wash them and have them in within 24 hours. Not always, but sometimes they may go over to 36 hours, which a couple of these will be at 36 hours, but I'm going to put them in a three gallon bucket. Now, I did a little bit of a video on a taste test of a water glass egg. Um, I did two three gallon buckets last year, starting them in May, and they were absolutely wonderful. Um, they were a little bit more flimsy, so when I would pop open the yolks, it would normally bust, but not all of them did. It was kind of like the luck of the draw. I found one egg that had been cracked or gotten cracked, I guess, from me moving them. I threw that out. I did not even try it, but the water was perfect. Um, I did not save the lime water, however. So, but today I'm going to start off a little differently. As I was adding eggs to this bucket, I kept having to dump out some of the water and I dip it out with a cup or something like that and just kept pouring it out. So that was actually very wasteful on my part for um, the water glassing the egg. So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm only gonna start out with two gallons of water and two ounces of the lime, the pickling lime. All right, and I have a total of 23 eggs. So let me bring you down here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to go with the pickling lime first. I'm also going to add my first quart of water. I will get another one here in a minute. But I'm going to add a fourth cup, which is two ounces of water. And we're going to try this out to see how much water will actually be in the bucket and if it will cover the eggs. Now, as you know, when you start adding eggs to a bucket, it's going to take up more space, so you're not going to need as much water in it. But I don't want to have to dip out this year. I want to be able to just keep it, you know, going. And if I need more water, yeah, I can always add another quart to it. So this is two ounces of lime, and I'm going to put in two quarts of water. So let me run around here and get the quart of water. And I'm doing cold water, in case you're wondering. And I just ordered that lime off of Amazon, a part of it actually. It was, I think, six boxes. So now, that's my two quarts. That doesn't seem like a lot of water, but we're going to try it out. Now, if this is not enough water, then I'm going to go ahead and add one more ounce and another quart of water, but we're gonna see how this is. I'm going to hand carry you over here so I can let you see what the water looks like. Now I have a black spoon here that I'm stirring it with, so here we go. I have heard you can store these water glass eggs up for two years. It's very, very, very white water, as you can see. Now I'm just gonna stir this up for a little bit. And last year I had so much, I guess, lime and I kept dipping out the water. You can't stir this once the um, eggs are in there. So I'm gonna definitely try to get this to stir up and dissolve and 
how I do that is I let it kind of sit and I poke at the bottom. If this isn't good and dissolved, it will end up floating down and settling on the bottom, which I'm sure it will, some of it, because lime doesn't totally dissolve in water. But, so you want one ounce of lime for every quart of water. So, my eggs have not been washed, so the bloom is what they call it, that actually protects the eggs. And I'm going to recheck these as I drop them in. I'm going to try to drop them in nicely. Um, I've heard some people say store-bought eggs you can use, but I would not try that because I know store-bought eggs are washed and they sit around for a long time and they're in and out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to stick with at least try to get these guys in. That one's got a wrinkly edge, but that's all right. Um, it's just kind of a uniqueness to that egg. If the eggs do not have a bloom on them, according to what I have found out by talking to other people, then the lime can actually sink into the eggs. This came from an Easter egger. So they do lots of different colors. And I'm checking these guys for cracks and everything else. Now, if I have to add another quart of water to it, that's all right. And I might have to do that in the end, but I will take a quart of water and I will go ahead and mix the one ounce of lime in it to mix it up. Because you can't stir this once there's eggs in it. Now, um, the lime has already started to sink to the bottom. Oh, this is a little, little egg. It's from a pullet, I think is what my neighbor told me. So, it says he's going to actually start... Um, going to hatch out some of them. Okay, so I know, let me look here. I might have to go ahead and add another quart of water, but I don't know. Let's see. Because we definitely want our eggs completely, completely covered. And I hope you can hear me real well. I didn't use my, um, microphone today. That's all right. No biggie. So, I'm going to bring you over and let you see this again. Okay, now we have some spaces here that we can add to it, but I'm going to go ahead and add one more quart of water and one more ounce of lime. So, give me one second. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball this. I have one fourth cup and I only filled it halfway and... My water, I have a little over a half right now. Now that's just so I can mix that up good. As you can see, it's popping down in. It's dissolving, but I'm going to get something to kind of stir it up here in a second. Now my wooden spoons don't fit into a regular mouth jar, so I'm just going to stir it up with a lid from the wooden spoon. Now, by doing it this method, yes, I am going to save lime and save water. And I'm going to go over here and add some more water to this. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to do it gently. And I'm putting it off to the side. Now, this is really, really mixing up. the line but I'm trying not to do this real hard because I don't want it I'm gonna add a little bit of water more to just shake out the jar so I'll let you see how this looks you can't see the eggs but they're starting to settle out and we'll be able to see the eggs here in a minute Now I'm going to take some um, freezer tape and I'm literally going to write the date on this and I'm also going to, every time I add more eggs to it, I'm going to go ahead and label how many eggs I added to it. Now I might miss a day or something like that or forget to do it, 
but I'm going to try to actually keep count of how many eggs this three gallon bucket will hold. So nothing fancy, just going to write water glassed eggs. And the date of it today is, don't remember. I should remember, it's tax day. It's April the 18th, so this is when I'm starting these. And then whenever I do this, I'm also going to put the end date of when I pulled them, when I filled up the container completely and I stopped adding to them. So can you see that? And I have today's date and a dash to see when it will go through. And then I'm going to pull this off and add, I put in 23 today. And that's how we're gonna do it. We'll be back in a minute. And that is how it is labeled. So let's see how this is cleared up in this and see if you can see any of the eggs. Oh, it's starting to clear. There you have it. And we do definitely have some room in there. And like I said, I showed you how to just add more if we have to. Well, there you have it. I so far got my 23 eggs started and my water glassing. So, and you know how to start out with little and just keep adding. And hopefully this will help you preserve some eggs. If you do not have chickens, find a local farmer or chicken farmer or just a local person that is willing to give you some eggs or sell you eggs or in exchange for something else that you've made. I know somebody around here will um, trade turkey eggs for sourdough breads, homemade sourdough bread. So it's not me, I wish it was, but I don't have any yet. So, well, we're gonna keep on trying. And, but there we go. These are gonna be sitting in the basement steps once I get the lid on good and tight. And, all right, so, gotta get it good, but not too good. So, this is Charlie B signing out. I'll be talking with you soon.